Hey guys, it's John Jen here, and I just wanted to say before this video starts that this is part two to a three-part thing. Yes, this is a collaboration I did with Ursa and The Famous Films, or Brian. You, you may know these people, maybe, I don't know. But part one is on Brian's channel right now, part two is right here for you to watch, and part three is coming out in 30 minutes on Ursa's channel. So please make sure to check them all out. They'll be in the description below. Thank you very much, and continue watching. Bye step 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 oh hey there you should probably hit that oh and you definitely ring a ding that oh you look so pale it's been a while friend john what are you doing here oh you know in the neighborhood some things to clean up oh and yeah i i came to see my good friend why are you here this isn't a place for you the portal took me here yeah, that's a mistake. Uh, why didn't you walk out the front door? Because she told me that... I don't know. I didn't really think about that. Okay. Okay. Didn't think about the obvious things. It's nice Horror to see you, though, logic, Ryan. John. <laughs> it's not good to see you, though. Hey. Feeling can be mutual. At least you're alive. You're welcome. <gasps> that's all you have to say? John? Yeah. Oh. John, well, you is... absolute jerk! <laughs> I was worried about you! Giving me a briefcase full of TNT? What the heck, man? What? There's a lot of explaining to do. I guess we can do it one at a time. Who who wants to go counseling first? Brian? I'm glad you're okay, you absolute creep. Do you even know what happened to me and my animatronics? I funded most of it, so I surely think I would. You don't know, do you? <laughs> oh, yes, let me think. Of you don't. Uh, Afton turned all your animatronics against you. You had to kill most of them. You put Foxy yes, in I lava. Did. You crushed Ned Bear. And Lefty killed Molten. Well, killed is a very broad term. But you survived. And all of them did, too. It's all part of the plan, Brian. Hmm. I always knew I could count on you. What a stupid plan. Sure. Do you know what I went through? Do you know who's not in your life? A man who was trying to kill everything you loved. That man's dead. Because you did what was needed to be done. It does not matter if you think that way. All my friends I, I died. see Molten still. Even though he's gone, I, I see him every time I'm in the... Pe can't even yeah, say the word and I see Dawn anymore. every time I look at a book. And I see Jupiter every time I look at a ceiling. If you really want to go at seeing people... We can go this whole back and forth of your little PTSD moment, or you can actually see kelp. Did wonders for me, Brian. Listen, I am so sorry that you had a bad time, but everyone- a bad time? That's what you call it? Oh yeah, because everyone else would have suffered if you didn't do the right thing. He would have killed anyone that everywhere. He would, he'd, he'd, kill, he'd kill my friends, he'd kill your friends, and then, he would have closed down everything you cared about while he turned your animatronics into scrap. Now we can keep sitting here and you can keep arguing with me or you can just accept the fact that everything is better now. Is it though? Is that what you think it's better now? Whoa, I guess the man with a theme park. My pizzeria burned to the ground. Everything I built. You didn't care. You were moving to the theme park anyway before that happened. You knew something was going to happen, so you prepared for it. Don't sit here and lecture me. It still me. doesn't matter. Do you want to... Sure, wanna, I have the theme sorry? park now. So Why? I have to ask you to... Ridiculous. Some people... <sighs> Children... Yeah, they can never understand what people do for them. Isn't that right, Mr. Afton? I'm glad your plan worked out. Oh, well, I'm used to losing people anyway. You won't be the last. Which reminds me, you weren't supposed to open that briefcase. What? That briefcase Reddy gave you? You yeah. weren't meant to open that. Well, I did. And I got really freaked out because of certain words that someone said 
I was really worried about you. I'm sorry. That I am truly sorry for. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here, Ursa. I don't know how long you'll be in this loop. It's almost been a six months. I had to send an animatronic here because I didn't want to come back. I don't know if the time's going to slip by and there's going to be a time where I'm dead and you're still here. If Afton got his way, <laughs> you would have been left alone. There'd be no way Brian would have found you. There'd been no way Davis would have lived long enough to get here. I did what I had to do. And if you want to be mad at me for that, you can go ahead and be mad. But I'm done anyway. My restaurant's yeah, closing. Man. What? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right, Brian. He won. I'm no longer going to step in an Afton shadow. It's been me for too long. I always pretended what I did was right. For my friends. For my acquaintances. So then why didn't you just tell me? If I told you, knowing you, you'd have messed it up. That was the only way I knew that you Ow! could do it. Sorry. Really? <laughs> it's night, John. I still have the habits. Mm. I can't turn off this stupid mode. a little softer now. If I didn't do all the things I did, you would have went in there with a certain mindset, and Afton would have known that. Then he would come get me, come get everyone else, and clean up all his mess. Now, the only mess I needed to clean up is gone. Davis is leaving. Michael has better things to do. Michael? Is well, Michael okay? You are a dead man. No one looks for the dead man's son. He inherited everything you lost. All your guilt, all your restaurants, all your property. He's actually going to go build a new restaurant in his image. You'd be proud of him. Can you tell him? Every day, I do. He knows. You do care. Your family, by the way, even though Afton was selfish, he did try to fix them. Even if it was what about his demented way. Elizabeth. And the rest, are they okay? They're animatronics now. <sighs> it worked, though. Of course it worked. Every stupid idea I have works. Yeah, you just get in your own way too much. <laughs> Go calm down. I feel like there's Everyone else. Hold on. Okay. Everyone... Standby mode. I don't want them to bother either of you until but, no, this the fox. is sorted up. Oh, the fox has a nice accent. Foxy. Well, Foxy's been fixed, so you're able to stay if you want. Thank you, lad. I'll be in my office if you need yes. me. Office? Oh, probably some broom closet. Anyway, sorry. But that comes around to say Michael's leaving. Davis is done. And so am I. I'm tired of pretending I did all of this for everyone. I did it to protect what I cared about. You, Ursa, my friends. I did bad things. And those, you con did. those consequences will live on in me. But I'm not sorry I did it. I did it. I, I would do it again, given the choice. I would string Afton up and rip him apart before he hurt anyone I cared about. Now, Brian- Did you ever Brian, think about my feelings, though? Every step of the way, I knew you were strong enough to do it. All the I emotions If I, I didn't went believe through. in you, you would have already been dead anyway, Brian. He would have killed you there. This was the <laughs> only way, and now you might be upset with me, but you don't have to see me again after this. I didn't even come to see you. Actually, I was going to visit your little theme park thing to give you some good news. But before good that, news. but before that, okay. Brian, just stay there with your little thoughts. You. 
I have no idea what's happening. But that note in that was to get rid of all of this. It wasn't just for you. It's for all these trapped souls. Everyone's in pain. Everyone has went through something they would rather go back and stop. But just because you guys want to hide away or think that everything needs to be a certain way doesn't mean it is. You are around broken people. You are trying to take care of children. And you keep putting yourself in dangerous situations. Why are you going through that portal? How did you know there's another portal then? How did you get here? Afton just told me you came through a portal. And I know Helpy did your little design, so she probably did something to screw you over a tiny little bit. No, she she didn't know that there was another piece of land. Huh. Convenient. It was hidden. Well, if it was hidden or not... John, you... it's the first pizzeria. The first ever portal. Then one of his first mistakes, you should stay away from it. Bulldoze it down. Put concrete above it and never look back. Make it a parking lot. I, I can't. And that's going to make this next part real hard. Restaurant's closed. My animatronics are going with Michael. Ready, all of them. Well, Reddy's staying with Davis. But all my other animatronics with those human souls in them, they're going with Michael so he can take care of them while I take care of some final business. That's why I'm here. I'm done, Brian. And you, if you do choose so, are the perfect person for the job. Wait, but you're... So Michael's taking your animatronics? Yep. Restaurant's closed I mean, and the They're more than position. welcome to come to the theme park if they want. There's enough space if they need it. Not to be the guy that said I would never let you have them, but I would never let you. They're special to me. And, I and need so to are sure. my animatronics. And I need to make sure that Michael has them. You, though, can have something better. What can be better than that? Do you want to be CEO? What? Do you want to run and operate 50% of Fazbear Entertainment? You want me to become CEO? I'm offering you a position. I need to step down. I've ran things <laughs> poorly. And while I feel like an iron grip on what I love is certainly nice, it hurts a lot of people. And I will continue hurting people if I don't get out of my own way, Brian. You are the only person I know who is smart enough and selfish, selfless, selfless enough to be able to take this position and make it something brighter than what it is. Look at this place. Look at the place you have. There's so many locations that need someone like you. By the way, email came through. Oh. I, I signed off on it because I am technically William Afton. So, if you want it, Brian. I do warn you, it comes responsibilities like this. There's many other places that need your help. And I am so tired. I just want to go to bed. I mean... I don't know. I mean... Take some time. If you need it. Also, did Reddy stuff the barrels with sour gummy worms when he brought them here? That and a lot of gummy other things. Bears, yes. Know, that's pretty much Reddy style. I would have sent anyone else, but he was literally the only one who would do it. No, it was... He was a delight Don't to be hard on him. Oh, no, you I know. love him. I love that guy. He actually holds the last bit, last bit of information because there's one last thing I got to do after this. It was actually because of the parts he brought we fixed Mangle. Oh. So if I become so. CEO, I'll be able to essentially operate all of the other Technically, Pizzerias? you own 50% of 
what you run 50% of what Fazbear is. That includes making sure everything is turning. If everything's not running right, then they'll come to you because technically you're the one they look to for guidance now. What is up with the paintings on the wall? What is that? Is that new? What do you mean? Oh, there's just there's a painting right here. Is that you? Unfortunately. Balloon got on Twitter and found art. There's oh, more in here geez. if you want to see them, if you didn't already see them. Uh, why not? Oh, that's emotional. Oh, I've already went through another change in my look. It fits me quite well. I like wearing purple ever did. Ugh. Like this one? Oh, yeah, this one's definitely more my style. I mean this one. You and your Jester costume. <sighs> okay, enough of the pictures, Doc. Oh, fine. I've made my decision. And that is? I'll become CEO, because I do know I can make it better. Then, Brian, after this day, it's all on you. Run it how you see fit. Hopefully you never go to your friends asking for 20% of the revenue. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? No, yeah, it's just a joke. You know, how I went to your pizzeria, asked for money, you gave it to me, and I just threw it away. And you threw the check in the portal, yes, oh, I remember. Oh, it was great. It was like classic television. You would have loved it. Yeah, Why after you left, I avoided the check. Anyways, I know I can do a better job. The past is the past. But I can definitely change the present and the future. A future without me in it. Because I am done. By the way, John. Yes. Are you still interested in selling me the place after you bought this place? Actually, I couldn't, I couldn't me? buy it. Funny enough, oh I can't buy this place. I tried. I looked it up, and you know what's weird, Afton? Then who bought it? What? I can't buy it because it's in your name. What? Yeah, I can't buy it because you don't technically exist right now. And because you own it, there's nothing really I can do. Looks like your soul is tied down here permanently for a while. I am very sorry, Ursa. No, no. one deserves that. There has to be a way to help her. Oh, I've tried, man. I, I tried to get Afton to help. I got Molten over here. God, I've done so much to try to help her out. Don't say his name. Are we going to be like Davis and cower in a corner? Even though he's, he's gone, dead. I still see him. Just because a coward pats himself on the back for not doing the thing they're supposed to doesn't make it better, Afton. You don't understand. Oh, of if she course. owns this place, and the whole place revolves around Wait, her, what? this is going to get very, very bad. Yeah, well. Hold, run that by me one more time. What? You own this location. Congratulations, you're a franchise owner, which means Brian is contractually obligated to help you. What? <laughs> How, how is that possible? Technically, they haven't signed off, but... Oh, yeah, but... Under, water under the bridge. How is that possible? How is any of this possible? Because there was a madman with a mad vision. And he wanted all of us to suffer together in our own personal hell. I couldn't help you, or you, or anyone I cared about. No matter how hard I tried, even changing my entire existence around being someone I hate. Now, I find out Brian is scared to death. You are stuck. Also and no scared one to death. wants to look at themselves. Because once we do, we see what we truly are. A nightmare! <sighs> what was that? Oh no. Ursa, what animatronic was that? Now we begin. 